Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared in this example we're gonna solve a triangle. It's not a right triangle, it's a triangle and for that reason we can use either laws of sine or law of cosine. In this case in fact the only way to solve it is by using laws of cosine and you see here three forms right okay these three forms which one I'm gonna use first of all look we have this guy which is what C right on the other side of angle C and this one is A so we're gonna need to find B so obviously we're gonna go with this form so we have here B square equals A square plus C square minus 2 AC cosine of B so let's plug the things in and we have B squared and A squared. A squared is 13, 13 squared, right? That will be 169. C squared will be 8 squared, 64. Minus, and now we're going to need a calculator, right? 2 times A, 8 times, I'm sorry, 2 times 13 and times 8. It's the same thing, right? And that is 208 cosine of 131. Okay, so now you can grab a calculator, you can do all this math in the calculator, depends on the calculator you have. Uh, and we have 169 plus 64 minus 208 cosine of 131. So, like I said, depends on the calculator you use, you can put this one time in your calculator and you have to do multiple steps. I end up with 369.46 and if I want to find B I'm going to take square root of this which I don't want and I end up with I'm going to approximate to the nearest end 19.2 okay so we have the side B 19.2 question is how do I find uh, one of these angles A, A or C and in this case you're going to take one of the other forms either this or this and uh, by the way here should be C right so let's take the first one and we have A square right equals B square plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a so a is 13 so we have 169 right equals b squared and b squared is the one we just uh, work with so it's 369.46 plus c squared uh, is 8 so 8 squared is 64 and now let's see here we have uh, 2 times 19.2 right, that is how much B is times C which is 8 right that will be 307 0.2 and we have this cosine of A this is the guy we need to find out right cosine of A so a little bit of simplification here we're going to subtract 369 uh, let's do the simplification on the right side so we have 369.46 plus 64 that is 433.46 minus 307.2 cosine of a okay we're going to subtract 433 on both sides I end up here with negative 264.46 equals negative 307.2 cosine A. So if you're going to solve for cosine A, we're going to divide both sides by negative 307 and we have negative 264.46 over negative 307.2. Okay, the negative cancel out, so we have 264.46 
7.2. So how do we find cosine now? We're going to use the inverse function, right? So use a calculator and find this guy in your calculator. Uh, that's the thing we're going to do now. Second, cosine usual, that is the way you get it. And then you put that quotient to 64.46 divided by 307.2. And we're going to click enter, and we get the measure of angle A, right? The measure of angle A, the measure of angle A is 30.6. I round this to the nearest tenth of degree. Okay, so now we have A, we have B. Which is given 131. How do we find C? Yeah, you're going to add these two guy 131 and C 30.6. And we're going to subtract from 180. Measure of angle C is 180 minus the sum of these two guys, which is 161.5. So the measure of angle C will be. 18.4. I run it to the nearest tenth of degree. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back and see Squirt for more help. Thank you.